So guys, we're in Manchester, just in the lift to my hotel room. I'm not sure about the hotel yet, but we're gonna find out very, very soon. They have upgraded me to an executive room, whatever that means. So I hope you're off to a good start. Let's have a look. So we are number five, six, eight. Five, six, five. We need five, six, eight. Uh, it's not that way. Place, it's a massive hotel, we're on the fifth floor. Five, six, eight. There we go. Five, six, six. Five, six, six is there. This is it. Okay, guys, we are in. Now, the room I booked was uh, one of the cheapest rooms in, in this hotel, and it was a room with no windows. But this executive room, it's not it's not the Ritz, don't trust me, it's not the Ritz. But we've got quite a nice window. The view, I'm not sure yet. Let's go and take a look at the view. But I've actually got these windows are mad. I mean, it's not bad. All you can, all you can really see is hotels. Uh we've got City Tower, I've got the Mercure. I thought it was Mercury, but the Mercure Hotel. Uh can't really see much of Manchester right now, but I don't know if you're going to be able to get a good uh, perspective of this, but the windows are absolutely huge. Um, let's take a look at the rest of the room. Um, the main light isn't coming on, but I'm not too bothered, not too bothered about that. I was going to say main light. I don't think there is a main light saying that. I don't. There's actually no lights in the hotel room. So that's interesting. So our only light is the bathroom. So we've got uh, twin executive beds. So I'll sleep on one of these and I'll just dump all my other stuff on here. So... I can have like a little uh, YouTube setup when we can record some videos. Probably do a lot of my editing on one of the beds and then obviously sleep on the other. Maybe this will be a good little spot to put my laptop and stuff. So yeah, I'll probably do my editing on here. Uh, we've got a lamp. Let's see if the lamp comes on. I'm scared of breaking stuff, especially as I'm on my own. There we go. That's not bad. So we've got a little lamp there. If we put on this little lamp. It's really, there we go. It feels really weird doing um, a Comic Con on my own. It feels like I've done a Comic Con on my own before, but I definitely haven't. When I'm thinking about it now, I definitely haven't. And oh, we've got a bath. I'm actually buzzing. We've got a bath. I'm pl I actually, honestly, I'm chuffed that we've actually got a bath. No dead bodies in here. Nah, so there's the bath. You know what? Not too. Not too bad, I was going to say not too shabby, but I hate that expression. But yeah, there we go guys, so um, just arrived in Manchester, the time is uh, 10.35. Um, yeah, time to unpack and uh, I'm wind really, I'm tempted to go out, I might go Chinatown, Chinatown is just around the corner. So yeah, I'm tempted to get some Chinese food, I do love my Chinese food. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to unwind, unpack, and then um, we'll take it from there, guys. Right, guys, next plan of action before the morning. It's 11 o'clock at night, but a bit peckish, so I'm going to walk around Manchester. I haven't been in Manchester since my uni days. I went to uni in 2017, I think. Um, I used to come to Manchester quite a lot on the weekends. Um, but yeah, I love Manchester. But haven't been for quite a while. We're going to go to Chinatown, hopefully get some Chinese food. And then come back here. And then probably watch a bit of Walking Dead, get me in the mood for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so let's go and have a look around Manchester. It is late, so I'm not sure how much I am going to film at late at night. Um, but yeah, let's try and get some Chinese food. And a little bit of Manchester content of the Manchester nightlife for you guys. So we'll see you in a bit. We found Chinatown, guys. It looks like everything's shut to be honest with you, but we'll, we'll keep walking. Let's see what we can find. We just want a little takeaway restaurant right here. So I got that one horribly wrong. Um, all the restaurants are basically shut, but what is open is the the naughty massage parlours if you know what that is but um, yeah walk past all that not in the mood for that this weekend uh, but yeah um, I've had a look at what takeaways are open the problem is Manchester you know, is known for it's nightlife and I don't really want to go to 
uh, that fast food restaurant where everyone's drunk really I just want to get some food and get back to the hotel and eat it um, I'm going to try Burger King around the corner and um, we'll see from there so this is where we were guys we took a right to go Chinatown uh, it's almost a Chinatown until what maybe 9 o'clock and then the red lights in front of you here this is actually the hotel I'm staying at and it's huge it's definitely not the best I'd probably say it's, been, it's a two or three star hotel but it is massive so it's called the Britannia as you can see um, but yeah massive hotel uh, you, you notice it's quite dark the rooms but it's because they it's table lamps and not actual lights so let's see what we've got around it souvenir shop so I've got any souvenirs we need so just got back guys which went Chinatown was a bit of a failure I did have a little walk around went around a few places and Manchester's really quiet this time of night it is only like it's five to twelve and there's not that many people out on the street it's really weird for a friday night it's yeah it's quite bizarre in the end i just went to mcdonald's <laughs> at the mcdonald's um disappointed in myself for getting the mackies but I had to be done i just wanted to get some food before the morning um i picked up a few little bits i've got a couple of drinks and then i've got uh <laughs> got some conditioner i forgot the conditioner so there's obviously gonna be something i forgot and it was the hair conditioner but um now I'm going to sit down on my and watch a bit of Walking Dead and just chill out. And I need to actually plan my schedule for tomorrow. I've not actually looked at the panels, yeah, the photo schedules and all that kind of stuff. So I need to do that and then actually plan my route, how I'm going to get there tomorrow. So my ticket for entry is at 12.30. So, yeah, I'm going to have to leave so maybe 11-ish or I think I might get a over there um the biggest thing with manchester is the trams and the trams is something i've not mastered yet so i may get an uber there and get a tram back or do it the other way around get a tram there and get uber back but we'll see tomorrow it's gonna be a long one so yeah um that is gonna do it then for the friday night guys um i will catch you in the morning for day one of manchester comic con Morning guys, how's it going? Tell here, it is day one of Comic Con. It is currently 10 to 12. Uh, I can get in at 12.30 with my Saturday entry ticket. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head into the city center, uh, withdraw some money, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a taxi uh, from Manchester Piccadilly to the con, and we'll take it from there, guys. where he talks to different uh, people from fields of science, um, tech, and uh, he has a new one out with uh, a few uh, with Zuckerberg, where he kind of digs into AI and the, and the I guess, the uh, perils of this new technology. So Lex Friedman podcast.
Hey guys, so we're here at the BEC Arena and my first impressions are so far is the map layout is a bit all over the place to be honest with you. The panel is like, it's like the focal point of with the, um, all like the cars, obviously, right? I mean, we've got the Ghostbusters car, uh, we've got the Things car as well just there and then we've got Post and Pat, quite a random one and then we've got in between us and um, the Light Robin from Full Resources. But yeah, so the panel is like right behind me, which is like the main focal point. But if Anthony Starr was here and Lauren Cohan and Christina Serratos, it'd be all over the place. Like there's no barriers for uh, for, the, for the stars. The queuing is a bit all over the place. Uh, I've queued up for two hours so far and I haven't managed to get one away. I queued up for Curry Payton and uh, Cassidy McClinney. Didn't manage to get either of them. Um, I just met Austin Emilio, uh, who plays Dwight in The Walking Dead, and he was great. He loved my polo shirt. Everyone seems to love this polo shirt for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so that was really great meeting him. I managed to get a photo of him and got the autograph. So that was really cool. So got my first auto done of the day. The queue for A-Train and Kari Payton is insane. Like, I don't even want to start queuing for it. I was queuing for Cassidy McClinney for 50 minutes and didn't, and didn't get there. She had to go to a photo shoot. Um, so I've got one auto done out of five, but I'm here back. I'm back here tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Um, a shout out to Harry Pops who come over and said hello. So yeah, Harry, thank you for coming over. I do appreciate it. Um, that's never happened to me before. Someone actually recognised me from YouTube. So yeah, shout out to Harry Pops for coming and say hello to me. Um, trying to meet Lewis this weekend as well. Um, should hopefully meet Lewis uh, tomorrow on Sunday's vlog. But yeah, big day tomorrow with uh, the rest of the guests. Um, I'm not sure if I will get everyone done today. I need to either get Kari Payton or... Uh, Jesse T. Usher done today, but we will see how it goes. So, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of the footage and we'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, guys, and we are done for day one of Manchester Comic Con. We got four out of five uh, signings in the end. And honestly, the experience I've had with the guests today has been actually amazing. Um, some really, really cool photos of Cassidy McClinney. And then we met Jesse T. Usher, who plays A-Train, and he was great as well. Uh, one of the last people to get signed today, and was actually joking around how we not actually had that much uh, <laughs> time to do anything today. Uh, no one's have really had time to like browse the stores and stuff so hopefully i'm going to be able to do that tomorrow uh the one i didn't get signed today was uh michael james shaw maybe i will get tomorrow uh, just from what, uh, what i've seen of him yeah he doesn't look too friendly um uh, i could be completely wrong i'm sure he's a lovely guy but he just doesn't look too friendly or and approachable right now where everyone else seems very uh happy everyone's in good spirits full of energy i don't know where everyone's got his energy from uh, but yeah, uh, really, really good day in the end when it comes to getting autos done. It's just very, very busy. That's the only downside. Um, like I said, if Homeland, uh, um, Maggie and Rosita were here, yeah, I, sh I think it would have it would have been a mess this con. But yeah, with the with the guests here today, it has been really, really solid. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up then, guys, for the Saturday vlog. Um, going back back here tomorrow, like I said. Um, hopefully, uh, look at a lot more of the stalls tomorrow. 
and then yeah probably get the Michael James Shaw auto uh, as well get that pop signed the Infinity War one and then yeah hopefully get out this co the con tomorrow by 3 4 o'clock that would be nice uh, as we've got a train to catch about 7 ish tomorrow anyway thank you for watching the Saturday vlog guys and I'll see you back at the hotel okay guys I've got no idea how this is going to sound or even look on camera but um, we're actually vlogging in the bathroom of the hotel room simply because um, outside the light is well there isn't no light I've got no actual uh, bedroom lights so the best lighting and it's pretty good lighting I think is in the bathroom so we're going to do a little recap of the vlog what I picked up today in the bathroom a little exclusive here and this is just the shower curtains we've got the path there I'm just going to cover that up but hopefully this isn't too weird guys um so one cool thing from today was um they've given out loads and loads and loads of uh, posters from from uh, previous cons um and I thought of a few got a few friends of mine who might be interested in a few of these. Um, so, and if anyone does want any of these, um, um, do let me know. Um, I'll try and pick some more up tomorrow. Uh, they had loads and loads and loads, honestly, thousands. They're just all dumped on the ground. You can help yourself. It was completely free for all. Um, but I thought of Coombsy and Milky for uh, the Clone Wars one, if they're interested in that. So we've got is it Amos. Uh, I think I've got two of them. So I've got two of them. So. I, I'm going to give them to the, the boys if they want them. And then I thought we'd leave the pops after this one. Uh, we've got Carl Weathers in Predator. Uh, if you do want these, to let me know. Otherwise, don't worry. I'll, I'll uh, give them away to someone else. So, quite a nice print, you know, to uh, get a print like that for free. So, I've got one, two, I've got three of them. So, I kept one for myself and I'm happy to give the others away. So, if anyone does want these, uh, like I said, I had a few people in mind. But if anyone does want them, let me know. I'll try and pick some more up tomorrow. So that, that was a cool print. Then there was a, a Stallone and Carl Weathers print. Um, it's a bit of a weird print because if you're going to get this signed, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want the back of Carl Weathers. This looks more of a, a Stallone type of print. <laughs> but nonetheless, like, it was a cool print to take uh, pick up for free. Oh, I've got another Carl Weathers one. So I've got four of them from Predator. Uh, these, the next two I want to keep for myself. Uh, quite a nice one. Uh, photos of Enid, Enid from The Walking Dead. Uh, this is the, uh, when I think of Enid, I just think of the episode uh, Just Survive uh, Somehow, JSS, I think the episode's called, uh, which eats the turtle. Really weird episode, but it's really good. So we've got that Enid print, and then we've got that Enid print. So I'm not too sure what con she went to. I'm going to guess it was a Liverpool con. Um, but yeah, it'd be cool to meet her in the future. Another character who doesn't actually have a fungal pop, though, which is frustrating. Um, but yeah, I, had, I did see some really cool Funko Pop customs today. And then I saw, I found another print from uh, the Liverpool Con in April. Uh, I've got one of uh, Gator Matarazzo so as Dustin Henderson. So again, another cool uh, print to pick up. So all in, like I said, all in prints, completely free of the con. Now onto the Funko Pops and the Pops up. Pop, I'll say Pops I picked up, but the autographs I picked up. Um, let's go in order. Uh, we'll start off with uh, Austin Emilio, uh, who played Dwight in The Walking Dead. Uh, first time using the white paint pen. Um, so I did tell every guest, like, make sure you give the pen a shake and give it a little dab, give it a little test. Uh, but the autograph come out really, really nice. So we go. Um, I asked him, are you, he was like, he said, is that it? do you just want the autograph? I said, are you allowed to write your character's name? Uh, I said, can you write Dwight? He goes, well, normally I write D. And he wrote, so he wrote D on the auto. But I think that's a really clean autograph. I was really happy with that one. So, um, yeah, so I got the, I've got the autograph and I also got the selfie of Austin. And that was really cool. So, yeah, I've got a selfie done. Uh, the next one I've got uh, was um, the Kari Payton auto by King Ezekiel. Uh, I queued up twice for this one. Um, first time I got turned away. Then I got given a ticket, which was 974. So... That's crazy if he went through 974 autos. I'm not sure if he did or if it was a random raffle ticket number. Uh, but the autograph come out really clean. Uh, again, with the white paint pen. With all the autographs, I'm definitely going to go uh, continue to go for the white uh, paint pen. But it feels so nice for me because I'm a massive Walking Dead fan. And I collected these Walking Dead pops because I love the Walking Dead. I, I started collecting these pops before I even loved collecting Funkos. So now it feels like I'm getting like something back in return from uh, the Walking Dead community. Now they're coming to cons, I can actually get these pops signed, which is 
really really cool such a nice feeling to get pop signed so he signed it here and then he was like again he said that you draw it personalized um, I said you last write your character name uh, he didn't write Ezekiel he, he wrote King E on the side there so something a bit different I'm not sure if he was allowed to write Ezekiel uh, but nevertheless a really cool auto and something a little bit different having King E um, uh, maybe it would be better if you just put the king or I don't know the kingdom whatever but I was happy with that again uh, Kyra Payton really friendly uh, really nice guy and then we're on to uh, Castine McClinney uh, for the Alpha Funko Pop and I have to say a lot of people actually had the same idea as me and got the Alpha Funko Pop signed and I only wanted to get the Alpha Funko Pop signed if she actually did personalise it and write Lydia Otherwise, it wouldn't, wouldn't actually make that much sense. Uh, thankfully, she, thankfully, she did. She uh, signed it with plenty of love hearts as well. And then also Lydia in brackets. So there we go. A nice clean also. You'll notice with all these autographs, they've all been at the bottom. None of them also have been banged in the middle. So they've been very considerate, like wanting to show the pop's face still. Uh, Dwight went a bit more central. I, I personally do prefer the signatures more central but like, even if it is covering the face I don't really mind uh, but yeah a really nice also from uh, Cassidy and um, I will put the photographs on the screen as well we took loads of selfies she was absolute nutcase Cassidy and uh, she took about eight or nine selfies and I don't think any of them come out uh, in a steel frame they all were a little bit shaky so I might have to go back tomorrow and get a proper photo but she was really really great uh, yeah, really cool Cassidy, uh, Cassidy. So that was the third uh, autograph. And then finally, onto the boys. My last uh, Funko Pop signature of the day was from Jesse T. Usher. And we got the A Train. And that the A Train. <laughs> we got A Train. And you can see, so we got, yeah, we used the Aqua Blue pen for the first time. Um, again, Jesse T. Usher is great. Yeah, he personalised it, uh, put A Train on the pop. And then he asked me, Do you want a quote? And I said, um, I asked him, "What's your favorite? Um, what's your favorite qu quote?" And he wrote, uh, "What's up, shitbirds?" <laughs> so I mean, it's a shitbirds. Yeah, it does say, "What's up, shitbirds?" On the side, it went a little bit onto the white box, but it's not really a problem. I don't. Yeah, um, before I was like, "Oh no, don't go on the white." But I don't see a problem with that at all. So yeah, nice personalization from Jesse as well. I was from the second from last to get. Um, the auto from Jesse and we was just chatting just saying about the con how neither of us have actually had that much time or very little time to actually explore the rest of the con so he asked me if I'm going back to the con tomorrow and I said yeah I have to come back uh, just to explore really you know and enjoy the con so I've got one more auto to get tomorrow Michael James Shaw which I'm sure I will get the pop signed um, and then the rest of the day I will be taking photos trying to get some photos and clips of cosplayers some really good cosplays today plenty of barbies um but yeah i need to wrap up this video guys it's going on for too long i'm scared this video is going to go on for too long i did see people uh leave comments on my previous con at the london one they did want to see a longer uh, video so i think this is probably going to be my, my longest uh, vlog uh but yeah thank you thank you thank you to everyone that has watched uh, today's video if it is your first time watching uh my video one of my videos please consider dropping me a subscription that will be brilliant and if you my phone microphone's just dropped and if you could and if you could also uh give the video a big thumbs up as well i'll be back recording another vlog for manchester comic con for the sunday vlog that will be out early next week hopefully thank you for watching guys and i'll see you very very soon see you later